I've mentioned previously on this channel that I'm quite a fan of a little particular DS gem. I mean, I'm sure you've heard of it by now. It's a little game called The World Ends With You. In fact, my second episode I released on this channel was actually about my thoughts on the latest upgrade the game has seen. And while some of my opinions have changed since I've beat the Switch version, I still had a genuinely good run through it. So yeah, I've played it on the DS, the phone, the other short-lived phone game, and the Switch. And naturally, the next question is, well, what comes next to experience from the game? A sequel? <laughs> nope. We'll wake you back up at Shibuya all over again with Neku and his friends in a pretty clean looking anime that stylistically captures the original art style of the game pretty faithfully. So yeah, like this is a really great thing for a long time fan to see, like myself. But I do think that it should do a good job in bringing in new people to kind of experience the story. As far as the anime may go in terms of like giving you the story in the same way that the game would give. I mean anime is just admittedly a lot more easily accessible in comparison to like playing games. So like especially when it comes to what some may deem to be the proper way to experience the world ends with you. As a game that is, due to the gameplay being tricky to master if you're playing on the DS or kinda wonky if you're playing on the Switch, but it's widely agreed on that the phone is the most easiest way to play the game. But I'm, I'm not one that's afraid of a challenge, so I'll be honest that I don't really have like a preference. The art style aside though, it does appear to plan to mix things up just a bit. I know one gripe I usually have with do-overs is, well, how will the music sound? The original game is over 10 years old, so that's a long time to grow attached to something. Even the remix songs and the final remix version weren't necessarily for me. Doesn't mean they were bad, I'm just one for classic tunes. The game's composer Takaharu Ishimoto did take note of just usually how he approaches composing music for games has changed over the years, so while I do expect to hear some new tracks, I hope they make use of some of the classic tracks that is. Please Square, please, please use classic calling, deja vu and transformation. The list goes on, but you get the point. When it comes to things, I'm like a pretty picky on how it's handled. But I think overall the adaptation is in great hands and I can't wait to see more of it come 2021. Granted, we don't know exactly when it's coming in 2021, so that does make the wait a little bit of a drag, but at least it's something nice to look forward to while we deal with 2020's craziness, to say it as simply put as possible. So what do you think of the anime teaser? Let's chat about it below in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for all things Bear Boy. And I'll catch you around in the next video.